Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about how to treat and prevent hemorrhoids so you can have a more comfortable pregnancy. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I've been a registered nurse since 2009, working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. Many women experience hemorrhoids during their pregnancy, but they are not really sure how to treat them. Let's explore what you can do to treat hemorrhoids after you have developed them and how you can prevent them to begin with. Hemorrhoids are blood vessels that have become enlarged or swollen. You find them on the outside of the rectal area, but they can also be found inside your rectum. Other words for rectum include anus or butthole. Hemorrhoids can be many different sizes, from small, which can look like a bead or pea, to large, which, which can be the size of a bottle cap or nickel. Hemorrhoids are basically varicose veins in the rectum. Sometimes you may hear them referred to as piles because they look like a pile of marbles or a bunch of grapes. Generally, most women will develop hemorrhoids during the second or third trimesters of their pregnancy. However, you can develop hemorrhoids at any time during your pregnancy or during your life. Anyone can get hemorrhoids. However, they are very common during pregnancy. Part of this is due to the increased blood flow women experience in the pelvic region to support their pregnancy. Additionally, as the baby grows and the uterus expands, this causes pressure on the veins that run to the rectum, causing it to swell. Another cause of hemorrhoids is constipation. Constipation is difficulty pooping or having a bowel movement when you go to the bathroom. Caused by pregnancy hormones, your intestines and bowels slow down, contributing to constipation. When you strain to have a bowel movement, this causes the veins to become inflamed and they may start to bulge. Progesterone relaxes vein walls during pregnancy, causing the veins to swell easily. This all leads to the development of hemorrhoids. If you already had hemorrhoids prior to becoming pregnant, you are likely to develop them during pregnancy or they may become worse. Additionally, pushing during a vaginal birth may cause you to develop hemorrhoids postpartum. The symptoms you experience from your hemorrhoids depend on the type of hemorrhoids you have. Hemorrhoids can be internal or inside the rectum, external or on the outside of the rectum, and sometimes found in both places. Symptoms include itching, swelling, burning, bleeding, especially after a bowel movement, painful bowel movements, and a raised area of skin near your anus. Most symptoms will occur with external hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids generally have no symptoms. Some women may push an internal hemorrhoid out while having a bowel movement. This can cause bleeding and pain. One complication that it can occur with hemorrhoids is developing a blood clot in an external hemorrhoid. This is called a thrombosed hemorrhoid. These are usually inflamed and painful and may be hard to the touch. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about the treatment of hemorrhoids. There are many things you can do to treat your hemorrhoids. One of the most common recommendations is to use witch hazel pads. You apply these small pads directly onto the outside of the rectum. The witch hazel is cooling and helps reduce swelling. A bonus is that these pads can be changed frequently without any harm. Another treatment is to apply an ice pack to the area a few times per day. Ice helps to reduce swelling and the cold is soothing. Soaking in warm water several times a day can also be soothing. You can either use a sitz bath or your bathtub. When you're done bathing, be sure to pat dry or use a hair dryer. 
You don't want to rub yourself dry as this can irritate the hemorrhoids and cause bleeding. Baking soda can be applied externally, either wet or dry, to help with itching. If sitting is painful, you can purchase a donut-shaped pillow to sit on. This can help relieve pressure on your hemorrhoids when seated. It's important to stay clean after using the restroom to avoid irritation and infection. Using unscented toilet paper and toilet wipes will help with this. Coconut oil can be applied topically to relieve inflammation and pain. Aloe vera can also be used, but only if it's pure aloe and not full of chemicals or fragrances. Finally, there are some alternative treatments including acupuncture and arnica. The main prevention of hemorrhoids is to avoid constipation. The straining from a bowel movement causes a lot of hemorrhoids to form. In order to stay regular, make sure to eat a healthy diet full of fiber from natural sources like fruits, vegetables, and beans. Additionally, make sure to drink plenty of water, at least eight glasses per day. If you feel the urge to use the restroom, make sure to go and use the restroom. Delaying a bowel movement can add pressure to the rectum, leading to hemorrhoids. Also, if you get to the bathroom and it's just not happening, don't sit for too long. This can also increase rectal pressure. If you do end up constipated, talk with your healthcare provider about a stool softener and switching to a food-based prenatal vitamin, which can be less constipating. Another way to avoid hemorrhoids is to exercise as long as your healthcare provider approves. If you do have to sit for a long time, like at work, make sure to get up and stretch often, at least a few minutes every hour. This also helps to reduce rectal pressure. Kegel exercises can help by strengthening the muscles of the anus and increasing circulation to the entire pelvic re region, reducing the development of hemorrhoids. Laying on your side while reading, watching TV, or sleeping can reduce pressure on the veins in the rectum. Also, maintaining a healthy pregnancy weight gain can reduce pressure and prevent hemorrhoids. It's important to see your healthcare provider if your hemorrhoids are getting worse or if your efforts at home have been unsuccessful. Your doctor may be able to assist you in treating your hemorrhoids. While it may seem like hemorrhoid products you buy in your local pharmacy are okay to use, you always should ask your healthcare provider first. Also, these products should be used only as directed. When used longer than they should, they can thin the skin around the rectum or cause irritation, which can make your hemorrhoids worse. Sometimes when hemorrhoids are severe, your provider may recommend for hemorrhoid surgery after you have delivered. Hemorrhoids are very common for most pregnant women. I hope this has explained how you get hemorrhoids and what you can do to prevent and treat them. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember, share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.